Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. For this lesson, we're going to be going over the play, pause, and next frame buttons in the Unity editor. So let's get started. All right, so here we have our tutorial project open inside of Unity, and the play, pause, and next frame buttons are located at the top center of your workstation. And these buttons will actually always be located in the top center of your main editor window. So sometimes you might have windows open on a second monitor, like the animation window or the animator window, but the play, pause, and next frame buttons will always be located in your main editor window. That's the same window that has your drop down menus up at the top left. So your file, editor, assets, and so on. Now let me give you a brief explanation of what these buttons are. These buttons are super important because they're used to test the playability of your game. And they're pretty straightforward. So the play button is what starts and stops the play mode of the Unity game engine. The pause button is used to pause on a single frame of your game. And the next frame button is used to progress your game one frame at a time. So to demonstrate how these buttons work, I'm going to start by creating a new game object. This is going to be a 3D cube. And right now I'm just going to center it in our scene. So 0, 0, 0. So right now, if I hit the play button, you'll see that nothing really happens in our scene and game views. That's because there's no functionality to the game objects that are in our scene. Now luckily we don't have to create any of our own scripts to demonstrate how the play mode works. Instead, I'm going to add a component to our cube object, and this is going to be a rigid body component. Rigid bodies are what give physics to a game object. So for example, gravity, whenever you apply a rigid body component to a game object, you can specify whether you want gravity to be active on that game object. And so currently we have, as you can see here, use gravity checked. Now this means that when I hit the play button, you can see how it affects our game object. You can see that it is falling with gravity. This is all possible because of the Unity game engine and its play mode. Now I'm also going to create another game object, and this is going to be a particle system. And I'm actually going to attach it as a child to the cube object and then I'm going to center the transform of this game object. Now as I enter the play mode, you'll be able to see how gravity applies to our game object and how particle systems work. So there we go, we have the cube falling with gravity and it's leaving behind a trail of particles. The next button is the pause button. This button can be triggered before you enter the play mode or during the play mode. Now if I hit play, you can see that as I hit the pause button, everything stops within our game. If I were to hit the pause button before I hit the play button, you'll see that our game is paused before it even runs a single frame. Now the next button is the next frame button. This button is used to progress your game one frame at a time. So as I keep clicking this button, you'll be able to see how gravity and our particle system work one frame at a time. And there you go, you can see that as I keep clicking the next frame button, our game object keeps falling in the downward direction because of gravity, and there's particles being emitted from our game object. Now the play button is super important, I use it every time I'm testing a new feature that I've added to my game. The pause and next frame button I don't use as often, but they're still very important, most of the time I use them while debugging my game. So if I want to see exactly when an error is occurring, I can pause my game and then run through it one frame at a time, and that actually helps me hone in on exactly when and where errors are occurring in my game. Now that's everything that we wanted to cover in this lesson about the play, pause, and next frame buttons. We hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it informational. If you have any questions, make sure that you leave them in the comments below. Also, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified when we release new videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.